Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess to do your weekend reading. Um, firstly, I wanted to say a really big thank you to you all of your guys for your support. Somebody said to me yesterday about the camera not being in the same place as it was before. So I did explain during the week that I bought a new um, iPhone and um, it just is too slow to upload. So I, I, I worked out it's the phone, not the internet provider. But the thing is, I can't work out how to do the settings. So I'm either waiting for some gorgeous technical person to come on and tell me, or I have to get it to the Apple shop. So in the meantime, I'm using my iPad, which I think has a great picture, but you don't quite get the view of the cards that you did before. So, um, but I can't set it up in a place. Wow, the high priestess jumping up here. Um, I can't set it up in a place where it, um, where it really shows what it did last time, but we'll get there. Okay, in the meantime, I'm back doing the readings, which I guess is the most important thing. Today is Friday the 21st, so this reading is for the 21st, 22nd and 23rd of February. God, we're nearly at the end of February already. Um, I'm trying to have my morning copper this morning. Um, thanks so much for all you people who've come back ordering readings from me. I'm running a little bit behind at the moment, so please be patient with me. As soon as I opened up to readings, it went a little <laughs> went a little crazy. So um, please just be patient with me if you have to wait a day longer. I do try to do them within 48 hours, um, but I'm trying not to do them on weekends. Unfortunately, that's not working so well for me. So um, i trying to have at least one day a week when I'm not doing readings. Alrighty, and that's so I can give you the best readings I can. All right, so we've got here the Pagan Tarot. Give the room a little bit of a, a smelly start. Clear the energy. I must say the readings have been all over the place this week though. Okay, so I have the Six of Pentacles coming out first. Now the Six of Pentacles is a card of equal give and take. Now, in this particular card, I always think it's relating to work. You know, how much you put in, you get back. Um, sometimes we sort of work our bottoms off and our work, we don't feel that our workplace is sort of appreciating us for whatever reason. But it could be something to do with that. But this is about having a balance, sharing the wealth fairly, um, making sure that everybody gets a look in here. Okay, I have the Justice card behind that. That's really interesting. Something is about to be put right in your world here. Something is out of balance. Either you've got a relationship or a work situation where you are putting in more than what the other person's giving you back. Um, but it looks like the universe is about to intervene here. So hopefully you'll understand. And Four of Pentacles coming out too. So very much feeling like a work reading here. The Four of Pentacles is a card that talks about holding on to things and not letting go. So sometimes when we become stressed or overwhelmed with things, it's very often difficult to let our thoughts go. We might hang on to them. We might ruminate, overthink them. And then we have the Judgment card at the end. Wow. Something here in the past was not equal. Something here in the past you were investing in and it wasn't giving you back. Um, and it can't be that way. The Justice card tells me that. So the Judgment card talks about a rebirth. It talks about a second chance at something, a second run at something. Something that wasn't good the first time around. So this could be a job, it can be a relationship, it can be a situation. But something you've tried before, like for example... Supposing you started up your own business and it wasn't giving you the return you wanted, not just financial, we're talking return, perhaps you weren't building a customer base. Now what happens here is we've got the Four of Pentacles. The Four of Pentacles is asking you to let go. And when it says let go, sometimes it's saying to you that the way you're doing things perhaps isn't quite the right way. Maybe think outside the box a little bit, let the energy go, stop trying to control it. Because the universe is coming in here to give it another go, another break, another chance. So let's see what we get from the reading. If it's a relationship for you, it could be that you had a relationship 
um, maybe something short term that sort of didn't work out because the other person wasn't putting the energy in. Um, it makes such a difference to a relationship when you have someone who's very openly um, or open with you, who's um, you know willing to give you love, has an open heart. It makes a, a big difference in a relationship. Um, and sometimes we go into relationships and we meet people who are a little bit closed down and they're not prepared to share their feelings or their heart or their innermost thoughts. And of course, that's just destined to break down because it becomes toxic because you keep it investing in it, thinking it's going to go somewhere and it doesn't. So it could be that you've got an opportunity at that too, but that's the general energy. So it'd be different for everybody. Okay, so we have the Empress card coming out first. So the Empress card represents Mother Gaia. She represents Mother Earth. Um, it's about rebirth. It's about being creative, bringing new things in the world. You can see her planting something here. Um, it can be about birth. It can be about falling pregnant. It's about being fertile and being ready. So I feel that something has happened here in the past perhaps where you weren't in the right place when it came around the first time. That's what I'm thinking, because I think you're ready to bring it back. You're manifesting. And then right next to it, we have the emperor. Holy dooly. Okay, um, so we have the empress and the emperor coming straight out this morning, right next to each other. So if we take these cards as their basic value, the Empress talks about rebirth, bringing new things into the world. Um, they're right next to each other in the tarot story. Um, the Emperor is a card that talks about um, control and structure and, um, and sort of taking, like taking the lead on something. The Emperor is a person who's very experienced. So it's sort of like the spiritual and the logical here. But there are two people here being represented by these cards. Two people that have come back or are coming back together to have another. This is divine masculine, divine feminine. Um, so two people are being brought back together because things did not go the way they should have done the first time around. And the universe is very aware of that. Okay, so we have the Knight of Wands coming in here. So the Knight of Wands is an energy, it's an action card and it talks about messages coming in. This is messages of passion. This is messages from someone who's very regretful, very remorseful here, look. Look at his face. And he's staring down at that wand because he needs to bring a message to someone here. I think somebody's been waiting a long time for this. Okay, and then we have the three of pentacles coming in here. So there you go. So a six of pentacles talks about two people putting in energy. The three of pentacles talks about somebody wanting to invest in something. This is putting the hard yards in. This could be you, it could be another person. But it's about being dedicated to something. Um, and it's an awakening. Look at the, Look at the light shining out of the pentacle there. Someone's had an awakening here. Right, let's keep going. Okay, so then we have the Queen of Cups. Now, the Queen of Cups is a card that talks of an offer. But the Queen of Cups is a very well-balanced person. She is very much about um, love. She, knows, she trusts her intuition. So somebody has had a realisation without any doubt whatsoever. You could be dealing with a king of cups. <laughs> it's really very interesting reading here. So Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This person here is now ready to offer their cup. Um, I feel with this sort of way that this looks this morning, that this person sort of found their own religion, their own spirituality. But there's an offer coming in from someone here who's feeling very loved up, I might add. <laughs> that other one, the elemental, is actually the Page of Cups. I'm sorry, I don't know why I read that as the Queen of Cups, because that is the Queen of Pentacles. There's an offer here. My darling, someone of you, somebody out there has been waiting on this offer. 
somebody's been waiting on someone to give them something practical. Because it's a general reading, one of you could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the other one could be Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. But he's offering her a cup of love. She's offering him stability. So I don't know what's going on in the reading this morning, but we've had both um, matching, matching cards here. It's very interesting. Okay, so then the death card comes out. So the death card talks of a rebirth. It talks about shedding what no longer serves you. It talks about um, being able to transform into something new. This relationship is going to transform here. And then we have the card of the lovers. Wow. I'm really blown away by this reading. It's very, very powerful. So the card of the lovers, it can talk about a choice. And you can't discount the choice with the lovers card because it was the traditional meaning. And in this card, we see her on a path where she has two paths to take. There is a choice here of some kind. But the lover's card also represents two people being brought together by divine timing, by the divine, by divine energy. I'm really, oh, and then we have the Hierophant. Okay, so not only do we have quite a lot of Age of Arcanas here, um, five in total out of a 10 card spread. Um, this talks about stability it talks about the traditional things like marriage, bringing things into balance. Um, it's a very traditional card, the Hierophant, very traditional. Um, he's the high priest. So this is about sort of practical union. Churches, religion. Somebody wants to marry you. Somebody wants to bring stability in with you. I feel that somehow or another this has taken a long time, but you've been waiting on it. Um, with a, well, One would hope you've got on your, with your life while you've been waiting. But you always knew this person would return because they never recognised your value here. And while you were putting in a lot of energy last time, they weren't putting in any. And this time they're back, but this time the relationship's very different because it's gone through some sort of transformation. You're both very different people this time around. Um, there is a choice here of whether to take this path or not. But I don't think the choice is whether you're with this person or not. I think you both have to undergo some sort of transformation together or some sort of change together. Because there's healing here for both of you. So I feel that you've sort of got been torn apart. It's a typical twin flame story. I feel that you've both been taken apart to work on your own individual things. And now you're being brought back together to transform the relationship. This time though, the other person wants to put the energy in. So we have the six of pentacles, which is energy going both ways. We have the justice card. It's a really powerful reading, this one. Um, the Justice card is a card of, um, it's karma. Um, it's about, it can be legal justice and legal. That would be fit with this reading as well because we have this Hierophant card here. So it still could be talking about making things legal, bringing things up, making them above board now. Maybe you've had some sort of secret relationship in the past and you've been waiting for someone to come back in. Now it can be disclosed, declared. You just have to let go here and just trust that the universe is doing the job it needs to do. Somebody could have been working on their finances while they were away too. Um, so I feel that some of you have been working on your intuition, your higher self, but the other person could have been working on their practical self, especially with the empress and the emperor, because one represents the spiritual side, one represents more of the practical side. Could have been building yourself up, ready. But this card here talks about return and rebirth talks about bringing something back from the dead, having another go at something. So what I have here is two people being brought back together to do something that's being destined, something that needs to transform now as a, as a couple rather than as single people. You've done the work, you're vibrating where you need to be now. 
So because you both have vibrated where you need to be, you're being brought back into union because together you vibrate high. So this is two people being brought back together to join, to join together for the betterment of humanity, for the betterment. I just want to put a couple more cards on it. I really do. I've gone over 15 minutes and I haven't even drawn an oracle card. Okay, three of wands, page of wands and the wheel of fortune. I feel like for some of you are going to hear from this person very shortly. Um, it's possible you could get an email or a text or something just asking how you're doing, how you're going. Um, this person definitely has a message of passion. This person feels very physically drawn to you. It's very, um, it's very primal. But the universe is now moving things. Maybe they've taken a long time to move. I have the computer on, on two of those cards here. So you could have a connection through work. But I feel strongly that this person's going to connect with you first through either text or email. Wow, what a reading, huh? Big reading for this time of the day. <laughs> Very powerful. I want to still go into it, but I I won't um, I won't flog it. We'll have a look what we've got here. Oh my goodness gracious. I have drawn this card so many times, I swear. And now we've had the water signs. This represents obviously the chariot, which is the sign of cancer. So somebody is dealing with cancer here. Um, this is definitely somebody coming forward in a very big hurry. Somebody is moving very quickly. It is also the number four, so which corresponds with the four of pentacles, I think, around um, not controlling, letting go and just letting things fly like they should, not holding on, just going for it. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you.